Hello, this week we will do an experiment on electric charge and electrostatics. Electrically neutral objects have same amount of positive and negative charges. If one object contains more positive charges, we say it is electrically positive, and similarly for electrically negative object, we say it contains more negative charges. If two materials are rubbed together, the charge is transferred from one to another and one material becomes positively charged and another negatively charged. For two charges, Q1 and Q2, separated by a distance r, we can calculate the magnitude of force that Q1 exerts on Q2. So this force would be 1 over 4p epsilon 0 magnitude of charge 1 times magnitude of charge 2 divided by their distance squared, where epsilon 0 is a constant and 1 over 4p epsilon 0 is uh, also a known constant. Units for charge are coulombs and then units for force are newtons. If the two charges are opposite, the force is attractive. If the two charges are of the same kind, the force between two of them is going to be a repulsive. The electric field will be produced around each charge as well as the electric potential. Next week you will do whole experiment on tracing these equipotential lines and electric field lines. The magnitude of the electric field produced by a charge Q2 that charge Q1 would feel is given by this equation. From there we can calculate the magnitude of the force that Q1 exerts on charge Q2. Units for electric field are Newton per coulomb. For a point charge, the electric potential is going to be given by this equation. And then you can see either from the equation or from these two graphs, further away you move from the charge, less and less potential you're going to feel. The units for potential are volts. In this week's experiment, you will learn how to produce charges by rubbing two objects together. Then you will learn how to charge an object by transferring charge from another charged object. And the last, you will learn how to charge by induction. Charging by indu induction is a redistribution of electrical charge in an object caused by the influence of the nearby charges. When you bring a charged object close to electrically neutral conductive sphere, the force of the nearby charge causes a separation of these internal charges. For example, if you bring a negatively charged object close to our sphere, the positive charges will accumulate close to this external negative charge and the negative charge will accumulate on the other side of the sphere. Once you either touch this sphere or ground it, the electrons negative charge will leave this piece of material and then you will have a, a excess of positive charges. Once this negatively charged balloon, in this case here, is removed, the positive charges will equally redistribute around our sphere and it the sphere will stay positively charged. This is called an induced charge and this whole process is called charging by induction. In your experiment the last step would be to observe this charging by induction. Now we will show you steps on how to perform this week's experiment. Let's start. This is a information sheet for your this week's experiment. So you will use a Faraday's ice pail. We have a 9 volt battery. We have three ones, blue, silver and white. White and blue are charge producing ones. Then we have a basic electrometer used to measure a potential. Now let's turn on the electrometer 
The range for the voltage is set to 10 volts. Make sure you zero electrometer constantly. If this uh, LED light is blinking, that means that the batteries have to be replaced. Please ask your TA for help on this. We have a one sphere and then we have another sphere that is connected to a 3000 volts jack on the electrostatic voltage source. Now let's talk about connections. We have a BNC cable from the uh, voltmeter connected with a red alligator clip to the inner side of the Faraday's ice pail mesh. The black side goes to the outside. Then we are grounding this through an electrometer. And then from the electrometer, we are grounding the whole system through a common side of the electrostatic voltage source. Now, first we have to zero the electrometer. Make sure you discharge yourself by touching the inner and outer mesh of the Faraday's ice pail. Let's check if our system is measuring voltages correctly. Use the battery. Disconnect the red alligator clip. Connect one side, one terminus of the battery to the outer mesh of the Faraday's ice pail and then other side to the red alligator clip. Read the value. It's going to be a positive. Now flip the battery on the other side and measure the negative terminal of the battery it will give you a negative reading. Return the red clip to the inner connected to the inner mesh of the Faraday's ice pail. Now, again, discharge yourself, discharge your wands. We're going to use white and blue wand. These are charge producing wands. Make sure you don't touch with your fingers the these faces because the oil from this, your skin will make the charges leak. Rub them together, insert the blue wand inside without touching the Faraday's ice pail and then make the reading. It's going to be a negative. When you remove it, it will go back to zero. Then discharge yourself, discharge once, rub them together again, and then insert the white one inside without touching. And then once you remove it, it will go back to zero. But ideally, this one should give you a positive value. Now let's discharge our ones. Make sure you discharge yourself as well. Check if you're, dis if you're discharged. Zero the electrometer. Now rub these ones together again. This time insert the blue wand and touch the Faraday's ice pail. Remove the wand and you will see that the reading will stay a negative. Because now you transferred all the charge from your wand to the Faraday's ice pail. Zero the electrometer, discharge yourself, discharge once, and then repeat the same thing with a white faced wand. This time you should get a positive reading. Okay, now go ahead, discharge yourself, discharge once. Make sure that they are entirely discharged. If it is hard to discharge them, you can blow some moist air on them and they will charges will leak. Now rub them together and insert both of the ones together inside the Faraday's ice pail without touching it. You should get ideally a zero reading, but you're having a negative reading here because the blue wand is producing more negative charge than the white wand, or the white wand is leaking faster. Now discharge everything again. Discharge the sphere and place it a 50 centimeters away from the sphere that is a connected to uh, electrostatic voltage source. Turn the source on. Make sure that the sphere is connected to 3000 volts. Now we are going to go ahead and see, can we induce on the 50 centimeters distance a charge on this sphere? Use the probing wand. Check. There is nothing. They are really far away one from another. 
Now let's go ahead and move the spheres really close one to another without touching. Now use a silver faced wand and sample the charge on the sphere on the points A, B, C, D and E and record that into your laboratory manual. Once you're done, make sure you turn off everything. Also make sure you leave the station in exactly the same condition you found it when you walked into a laboratory. This is all for this week. Thank you.